so. In terms of recruiting, how important is budget if you take in the factors of geography and academics as well? I think budget will always have a, a, an impact on your recruiting efforts just because whether you have a budget, say, the size of Alabama's or a budget the size of, you know, the smallest, you know, Division three you know, non-scholarship school, um, the budget at least to some degree limits, you know, what you can do and where you can go and what you can do to entice the nation's best and brightest uh, to come to your university. Uh, so that being said, there's always going to be a limitation to some degree of budgets, but you know, when you're at a school like Nevada that has a lot to offer uh, in terms of academic opportunity, in terms of athletic opportunity, and you know, to live here in a, in a place you know like Reno that we all love and, and think's a pretty pretty great place to be at, um, you have a lot to sell. And uh, so I think when it comes to budget, it's it's about how you manage that budget creatively um, to you know to go after you know the student athlete that athlete that you want to you want to bring to this university. Um, you know, and I think that's something that our that our coaches across the board, and especially this football staff, do a pretty good job of. What do you know? What goes into getting a recruiting budget, like boosters, um, you know, university funding? What all goes into it? I think well, all all the dollars you have involved for your program are going to function in recruiting some way or another. Now, some of them are going to have a direct application. And some of them are going to be kind of ancillary. So you might, you know, you're, you're talking about whether it's fundraise dollars, whether there are state funds involved, whether it's revenue that we generate through ticket sales or television contracts or whatever. All of it, you know, factors into the big pot. Um, and so, like I said, some of it you're going to see the direct application, whether it's plane tickets or, or hotel rooms or whatever uh, for recruiting visits, or whether it's the way that you decorate a building. Um, whether it's the you know the video production of your university and your program that you're putting out, um, all of it to some you know in some way shape or, or another um, is going to factor into recruiting. So, like I said, there's kind of a direct application, and then what else are you doing to bit to you know that's all factoring into your recruiting efforts. You mentioned ticket sales and revenue. Football is obviously the main draw. Women's volleyball, not as much. Right. Does that factor into recruiting budgets, does ticket sales for football kind of give them 60% more recruiting budget than, say, women's volleyball? Uh, I don't know if ticket sales per se apply, you know, across the board like that, um, but, you know, obviously our sports are given budgets to work with within the constraints of the overall athletic budget. Um, within the constraints of Title IX and gender equity um, and that sort of thing. So in a lot of respects, it's how coaches want to use the funds available to them because they have, obviously they have other factors to consider, you know, when they're planning out their season and how they're spending the money within their budget. I mean, whether it's, you know, travel or gear or, you know, whether you, know, you have to pay officials to come or, you know, summer camps or, you know, so how you determine what slice of your overall budget is going to go to recruiting is to some degree uh, you know, a, a discussion between each coach and the administrators that oversee those programs. So, um, and if and if, if Brian Pullian, you know, needs more money for recruiting, then yeah, he needs to work with our development office, and we got to get out there and you know raise more funds to to ha so he has more you know resources available for recruiting or um, or or to do training table during fall camp or whatever the case may be beyond the constructs of the budget you know that he has to work with. Um. In terms of boosters, do you know enough about it? A little bit. Okay. Let's talk. Um, <laughs> how much power does a booster have when they say, Here, here's this money, I want it to go to basketball only? Are they able to do that? Or once it hits the university's hands, is it then, okay, this is our money, we're going to disperse? No, absolutely. If, if a... Uh, if if somebody out there in the community wants to you know help and support our program financially and if they have a specific sport or a specific effort that they want to give to that absolutely if uh if if, if you wanted to donate to our women's golf program because 
you have a friend on the team or you believe in the game of golf and you think men's and women's golf is, is something that needs, whatever the case may be, absolutely. Sports specific, you know, giving is, is absolutely something that we, uh, um, that we, that we handle here that I think every school handles to some degree. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want to, you know, look at the overall well-being of a student athlete and you want to donate to our sports medicine or our nutri nutrition programs, absolutely, there, there's avenues available to do that. Um, facilities, you know, we, we talk about um, what an, an indoor field house could mean to this campus, not just for athletics, but for the student body as a whole. I mean, all of the, you know, um, intramural sports programs that go on here and be able to go out in, you know, the dead of winter and play, you know, flag football, you know, students or whatever, for our teams to have an indoor practice facility, which would, you know, you know, help and benefit more than half of the sports that we sponsor here on campus. Yeah, if, you know, we, we will seek donations specifically for those causes. So, as, you know, as a booster, as somebody who wants to support, you know, the program here, if they have a cause that is close to their heart or if they see, you know, something that they want to give directly to our absolutely sports-specific giving or facility-specific, yeah, it's all available. Okay, so they have the power, pretty much. It's their money. It's their money, and yeah, if they wanted to go to a specific program, yes, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and yeah. you know, I encourage you to speak to Andy Vaughn, our yeah. director of recruiting. Andy, will, Andy, uh, Andy oversees the whole show. Yeah, I figured, I mean, I don't think you would have...